What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Ventura 13.1 Beta 2 to developers. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of Beta 2. If we take a look at the build number, it is 22C5044E. The E at the end of the build number indicates that we could have possibly three or four more betas left in the beta cycle before 13.1 gets released to everyone. Now what is new here inside of macOS Ventura? Well, if we, take, we were to take a look at the Freeform app right here and go to About Freeform, this gets redesigned. It looks so modern and beautiful. I wish Apple could just make this about software, maybe even make this an API and like developers could put their logo here instead of the Apple logo. Like that would look so good across every single app. I just wish Apple could take this idea. We also have acknowledgements now. This basically shows who contributed to the free format and it's basically what you would think about with every other one. So if we were to take a look at music right here, it is the same exact acknowledgements thing, except it comes up as a text document instead of a PDF. And of course, with every single beta, we get a couple of build number changes, and we got a total of 23. Now, Ventura 13.1 has been very smooth for me, and I have not had any issues with it. I wish I could daily drive it, but unfortunately, I deleted my macOS Ventura beta partition, and I have like no apps in here. So I could do what I did before and just get all my apps from my main partition, but fortunately, I'm not gonna do that at this time. I would be able to get more of a better experience if I could. We also got a couple of issues fixed. We would take a look in the feedback app right here and go to macOS. We can see that the TV issue has been fixed right here. But unfortunately, it does not look like we got any freeform fixes. I was totally expecting that. And even a fix for the clock app alarms and timers not even playing. But unfortunately, Apple has kept the resolution the same. And I could test it tonight, but I highly doubt it is fixed. But I'll still test it just in case. There are also no new changes inside of the settings app. So I believe Apple is done with messing around with the settings app, unfortunately. The only thing I wish that I could see change is in Control Center, inside Stage Manager right here, which that was inside of Displays, and maybe rename this to Displays and Multitasking, and maybe add some multitasking things right here. Like maybe add Mission Control in there, and Stage Manager in here. But for some reason, it is not linked up with iPadOS, and that kind of defeats the whole point of the macOS settings app, because why is this not in where it is in iPadOS? Now, unfortunately, there's not much else new here. I'm guessing mostly just bug fixes, but I'm gonna do a quick Geekbench test right now. If we take a look at the scores right here, I got a 1731 on the single core and a 7737 on the multi-core. Not sure what it was before, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna compare it with, I'm not gonna compare it with macOS anymore since that is actually pretty time consuming just to get a screenshot from a previous video. I've actually considered not doing Geekbench anymore for Mac OS at least since it doesn't even save even if I were to buy the entire app. But hopefully Geekbench can add saving the scores in the future. Now what is next for Apple? I'm gonna say iOS 16.1.1 there could also be a macOS 13.0.1, but I kind of doubt it since that has been pretty smooth. If we were to see anything like that, I would say on the 15th right here. I think we'll also get a beta here, a beta here. This one would be beta five, and then maybe a beta six, and then a beta seven. But I kind of doubt that to be honest. We could also just get one public release right here, and then one beta release. This would be beta three, beta four, release candidate, and then final release. However, I don't think that the final release will release on a Tuesday. I think it will release on a Wednesday right here on the 14th. And then after that, we should be getting a 16.3 update. I'm going way too far, so I'm just not gonna continue going. That is all I have to say about macOS Ventura 13.1 beta 2. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.